Eagles. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Ava from Eagle News Second Hour. Please stand for the pledge. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Kaylee, don't you like concerts? Yeah, I do. Well, let's head over to Jackie and Brianna to see how the concert went for Mackenzie and Nicole. Good morning, Eagles. My name is Jackie, and I'm from Mingan News Second Hour. Today, I'm going to a concert with Brianna and her cousin Maddie. The Strange Music Concert is sponsored by 15 and Mahomes Foundation. The 15 and Mahomes Foundation is helping reach goals for 15 charities to help improve children's lives. This concert is called The Gift of Rap. It is filled with other people singing, but our main person who we're wanting to see was Mackenzie Nicole. There was other people like Tech Nine and um, King Iso. Mackenzie Nicole is a small singer who has been working with Tech Nine since she was nine years old. She sings more of a t pop type of stuff unlike Tech Nine. Here is some content we got from the concert. some pictures we got with Mackenzie Nicole. Hi, my name is Kevin. Hi, my name is Rory. We're from Eagle News Second Hour. And, we're we're, and today we're doing what's happening. Uh, and so far we've lost three games, but hopefully next time in basketball we'll bring home the W. And we have main event coming up, so make sure you get those assignments turned in. So for gold, you have to have zero to two to make it to, world, to main event. And uh, yeah. yeah, thank you. Now, on to the interviews. What are you guys doing in your classroom right now? Writing stories. Thank you. Yeah. What are you guys doing in your classroom right now? We're just working on a project. Okay, very interesting. <laughs> What's happening in your class right now? Genetics and modification. Alright, thank you. What are you doing in your classroom right now at SVMS? Uh, right now we are learning about the Bill of Rights and making a presentation about our amendments. Alright, thank you. What are you guys doing in your classroom right now? Uh, we're making a website for social studies. Uh, thank you. Wow, those are some really good interviews. Make sure to turn those assignments, come to those basketball games, and uh, have a great Christmas break. So much. Me too, Ava. Do you have any traditions? Yeah, on Christmas Eve, my mom's family comes over. And on Christmas Day, we go over to my grandparents' house and play telephone and board games. Oh. Okay, let's go find some new traditions with Drew and James. Hi, I'm Drew. And I'm James. And we're from Eagle News Second Hour. James, I can't believe Christmas is in five days. I can't believe it either. James, what is your favorite Christmas tradition? My favorite Christmas tradition is to hang out with family and friends and open gifts. What about you? My favorite Christmas tradition is putting the star on the top of the tree. 
Let's ask some students what students and staff of SVMS what their favorite tradition is. Now let's go to the interviews. Hi, I'm Drew, and I'm here with Manny. I'd like to ask you what your favorite Christmas tradition is. Uh, I like making cookies with my sisters on Christmas Eve. Hi, I'm Drew, and I'm here with Robbie. I'd like to ask you what your favorite Christmas tradition is. Uh, we like to go, we wake up early, and uh, we go eat uh, breakfast, and we just go over presents and stockings. Thank you, Robbie. I'm here with Mr. Bolt, and I'd like to ask you what your favorite Christmas tradition is. Um, we have a Christmas tradition in our family of going around seeing Christmas lights. We'll stop by a couple pizzas, uh, grab some soda, and put that in the car, go around and see how many lights we can find. Thank you. I'm here with Kaylee and I'm here with Leah. I'm here to ask you guys what your favorite Christmas tradition is. One of my traditions is that I go to my grandma's every year. We usually go to my grandma's too. I'm here with Coach Beadler and I'm here to ask you what your favorite Christmas tradition is. Uh, this is going to be an odd one, but this is something we've done when we were a little kid. Uh, started with my grandparents, but um, on uh, Christmas Eve, uh, when we wake up to have breakfast, uh, we have cocoa puffs and pudding. Hot pudding goes in the bowl, and then you take cocoa puffs and you pour right on top. No cereal, just cocoa puffs and pudding. It's the best thing. Now some people do this backwards, where you put the cocoa puffs in first, and then the hot pudding doesn't work because then the cocoa puffs get soft. You don't want that. You want it to be crunchy. It's the best thing in the world. I know it sounds weird, but delicious. <laughs> Hey James, I can't wait to see Santa. Oh no, I forgot to give him my list. Don't worry, he's always watching you though. I guess you're right. Thanks for the interview, South Valley. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now back to you, you anchors. anchors. This week's word of the week is so good that we're not even going to tell you what it is. What is it, Parker and Ethan? Hi, my name is Ethan, and my segment for this week is the word of the week. Let's go interview some kids here in South Valley. What do you think judicious means? Sounds like a religion because it sounds like Jesus. <laughs> okay, and then, uh, how do you think it's spelled? J U D I S I O S O U S. The word of the week is judicious. What do you think it means? Um, maybe like outgoing or something. Judicious, maybe religious. Okay, what do you think it's uh, how do you think it's spelled? D-U-D-I-C-H J-U-D-I-S-H-O-U-S uh, What do you think judicious means? Uh, probably something like a holiday or something. It sounds like something that would be like a holiday or something. Or something that someone would do. Like you're being judicious or something. Maybe a form of finger. I don't know. Okay, how do you think it's spelled? J U W D I C I O U S. J U D I C I O U S. J U D I O U S. What do you think judicious means? A type of religion. A type of religion. A person that works in their judicial branch. Okay. <laughs> uh, how do you think it's spelled? J U D I C I O U S. That sounds right. Because that looks like it. Judicious. 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 Try to use judicious throughout your day. I want to know the SEMS staff. Okay, Kaylee and Aaliyah have that one. Good morning, Eagles. I'm Aaliyah. And I'm Kaylee. I'm second our broadcasting. Kaylee, have you ever wondered about Mr. Riker in Christmas? Yeah, I love Mr. Riker. Let's get on to an interview. Let's ask him some questions about Christmas. Hi, we're here with Mr. Riker. Do you like Christmas? I do like Christmas. Okay, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Um, I think my all-time favorite Christmas movie would be Christmas Vacation, but I have another one. I really like Home Alone. Mm -hmm. Same movie. Uh, what's your usual tradition for Christmas? So Christmas morning, we get up and my kids open presents, then my parents will come over, and then the day after Christmas this year, um, my in-laws are coming in from Arizona to stay for four days. What's your favorite Christmas song? Ooh, um, probably Mary Did You Know. 
What food do you usually eat for Christmas? We have ham and cheesy potatoes. Those are my two favorites that we have on Christmas Eve. Um, okay, do you believe in Santa Claus? Why or why not? <laughs> um, I will say I believe that everyone has an opportunity to be like a Santa Claus um, because I think Christmas is a season of giving and so everybody has an opportunity to give. What is your favorite Christmas present? Oh, like of all time? Like, yeah, of all time? Even when I was a kid? Yep. Oh man. <laughs> okay, I know exactly the answer to this. <laughs> when I was a kid, I knew I always wanted to be a teacher and so one of the things that my um, but one of my presents that I got was I got like a huge chalkboard and that was my favorite <laughs> present. <laughs> yeah, well thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. That sounds really fun, Miss Likers. I hope you have a great Christmas. Back to you, Anchors. This week in sports. Now this is what I want to see. Joe and Owen can tell us what's going on. What's good, Eagles? And welcome back to Eagle News Sports. I'm Joe. And I'm Owen. And today we're going to be interviewing some random kids to talk about their sports. Let's go. Hi, what's your name? Maddie. Kaylee. What sport do you guys play? Basketball. Basketball. How do you guys think the season's gone so far? Really great. Amazing. Okay. I'm hey, I'm here with James. What sport do you play, James? Wrestling. That's cool. How is your season going? Um, it's going great. Um, we're taking the W's. Um, we're practicing hard. <laughs> That's cool. Hi, what's your name? Coach Bolt. What sport do you coach? Basketball. How do you think the season's gone so far, Coach? It's going all right. About 20 guys give good effort each day. They're coming to learn the new plays, new aspects, new skills in basketball. So it's been exciting. It's been fun. Thank you. I'm here with Kaylee and Aaliyah. What sport do you play? Basketball. What sport do you play? Basketball. How's the season going? Good. We're 2 0 for 18. That's great. How's the season going? Great. Undefeated, baby. <laughs> As a basketball player, I think your season's gone pretty well too. Owen, how do you think our basketball season's gone as a manager? I think it's really gone good. I think they just need some improvements, but other than that, it's pretty good. Let's go back to you, Angers. How are you? My name's Creighton. And this side is about, about recognizing students and teachers. They are getting recognized by uh, Edgar Eagle because they have been doing really good academically and um, really good, just really good in the classroom. Coach Quick, you're being recognized as being a good teacher for being outstanding with students and helping them out do their daily tests. Thank you. You're being recognized as an Edgar Eagle because you've been doing really good, outstanding in the classroom, academically, and just all around good behavior. Thank you. You guys are being recognized as Edgar Eagles because you guys have been doing really good in the classroom, really good academics, and really good just all in general. Thank you. Ew. Just stand there and look pretty. Okay, Miss Mullen, you have been nominated for the best principal because you're just a really good principal, always helping, and just always being a good principal and always helping out all the students. Thank you. Miss Sullivan, you are being recognized as an outstanding teacher, helping students do their daily tasks and everything. Thank you. You've been nominated as a really good counselor for always helping kids when they're down or when they're up. It is anything. Thank you. Miss Floydsman nominated you for just being an outstanding student and getting a 95 on your test and just being really good. Thank you. You guys have been nominated as Eagles because you guys have been doing really outstanding, always on task and always getting your work done. Thank you. You are being nominated as an outstanding Eagle. Uh, Ms. Shigda awarded, awarded you because you have been outstanding, a leader in class. When you make mistakes, you always fix them. Thank you. Oh. Seth is getting the eagle this week from Mr. K because he's always a team player, gets his work done, he does a great job. Here you go, Seth. You're welcome, buddy. You guys are being recognized as eagles because Miss Singer Rose Chris said you guys have been working hard. You guys have been che cheetahs. And thank you. You 
these are the nurses. They are being recognized as being outstanding nurses, helping us through the daily when you're sick or you don't need some medicine to feel better. Thank you, guys. Ms. Beck is recognizing you for being an outstanding eagle because you have been doing really good in the classroom, so I'm diligent and just being an all-around great student, always following directions. Thank you. Back, Back to you, anchors. anchors. Sometimes people just need to be recognized for themselves. I agree. Let's see who gets recognized as the eagle. How many times does Santa check the naughty and nice list? I don't know. Enough times to know that you're on the naughty list? Wrong, it's twice. Leilani and Talon are having a trivia. Let's go see how it goes. Good morning, Eagles. I'm Talon, and I'm from Eagle in the second hour. And today's second is going to be on Christmas trivia on Kahoot. Thanks for listening to my segment. Yeah.